host, the most determined soul, C.J. Barry, the leader of waves and waves of people in determination. C.J. is who I am. M.D. Soul is what I am. So you guys can just call me C.J. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you haven't checked me out on Twitch, make sure you check me out on Twitch. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, let's see here. So what we have is the snack box. What I want to do is buy the snack box and then put it together myself. I get often, hey, CJ, what's the first arcade stick I should get? And I tell them it's probably the Mayflash or something cheap. You got you to gotta figure, you figure it out yourself, you know? And uh, once you figure it out, go get something a little bit more expensive. Um, so right now I have the Spada by um, J&K Designs. I got the B&B by J&K. I got a Horikai. I have the, um, what else do I have? I have the Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2. Uh, I have the Hori Mini Arcade Stick. Uh, what else do I have? I have the Neo Geo arcade, uh, arcade Stick. And I also have the NES Arcade, arcade Stick. Um, you know the one I'm talking about, the old school NES, arca NES arcade stick. What, 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 what is it called? The I got it right here. It, it's called the, ah, pick it up. It is called, it's, it's this one right here, the NES Advantage, you know. So I have a lot of, I have a lot of arcade sticks. And what I want to do is get a new one. Again, don't tell my wife. Do not tell my wife. Oh, hold on. I got you. I'm glad you said something because I need I need these as a demonstration. All right. Ah. I'm glad you said something, man. So here goes my Spada. My Spada arcade stick. If you want the design to this, if you got a, a Spada, um, if you got a Spada and you need a design, let me know. I don't mind doing designs. So this is my Spada arcade stick. Uh, and here is my B&B arcade stick. Get over here! Go. Redeem pipe. Miss MD Soul. Instead of redeeming that, try to redeem the one that boosts the stream. Miss MD Soul. Boost the stream. But um, here goes my MD Soul B&B arcade stick. Um, boom, and then it has the design on the back. I like both of those arcade sticks thoroughly. And thank you for reminding me uh, to grab those because that's going to be important when we talk about these these arcade stick cases here. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Boom. That boom. We can't be slick, Tintin. We we just can't. All right, so for me, I prefer the Spada, and that's because the, it's, it's, and I'll get back on track here in a second. I prefer the Spada because it's wider, and because it's wider, it feels good, and it fits in your lap perfectly, and, um, it, even though it's thick, just like the B&B, &B, um, it doesn't feel thick. Where the B&B &B feels like a, um, it feels like a box more than anything. It feels like a box. Do I use my B&B? &B? Oh, I, absolutely. I definitely, I definitely do use my B&B. &B, but it feels more boxy. It feel, it feels more boxy. All right. Uh, I think, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it at. It feels boxier. Um. But I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I'll get to that in a second when, when we're talking about these uh, snack box, uh, these snack box cases here. All right. So, snack box cases. We're going to go through here. We're going to buy one. Well, I'm going to put everything in a cart and I'll buy one after I'm done making this video so you don't see my personal information. But we're going <laughs> to we're going to buy one. And we're gonna we're, and we're gonna talk about it, okay? And why we're doing the things that we do, and um, 
so on and so forth and kind of understanding uh, what each one of these things are okay so we're so the first one I'm gonna do one is see how much everything how much everything costs and then I'm gonna do one specifically for what I want to do okay so it, so I'm doing the if it was me this is what I would do all right all right so um, let's go in here I don't want to quick shop I want to go right to this spot right here and let's do this thing all right so so this is what it looks like the one that I'm um, I'm doing is buttons only okay doing buttons only it's this black one right here that I'm gonna be doing or the yellow one whichever one you want to choose and I can choose whatever color that I want but ultimately this this is what it looks like this is what I'm ordering this is what I'm buying and then look it has a little space for your that's why I like this you don't have to use additional like add-ons for what you're trying to do with your PCB. It has a specific place for it, see? There goes a Brook, there's a Brook converter right there, a Brook PCB right there, and that's where that's where it goes at. You can just boop, plop it down there, all right? So now, which layout do I want to use, all right? That's, that's, that's what we're all gonna be talking, every single time we talk about the, um, these arcade sticks is always, where you want to put your stuff at for me i want the standard one because i'm not used to the comfort gap same as the standard button uh with half inch gap between them so all right so pretty much what that is is the same place you would have your arcade lever that's where your that's where the buttons would be at so it's it's supposed to be more comfortable so you're not like this but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the standard. In the big gap, it's a little bit further apart. But I wanna tr I'm I'm gonna stick with the standard, all right? Because that's what the hitbox is. I, I'm planning on getting the hitbox. That's another one that I'm gonna get. Don't tell my wife, <laughs> but I plan on getting that. So next part of this is getting the case color. I'm not too sure what type of case color that I would like to get. But to be safe, I'm gonna go with white in my mid color is going to be white maybe or maybe do i want or maybe do i want this to be black but i already have a black arcade stick i already have a white arcade stick but i plan on doing designs on on this on this particular kit so um let me see do i, I wish they had a clear but i think i want the middle part to be smoky gray um because i'm gonna put i'm gonna be putting designs on this okay um, do I need a cable kit? Um, let's just say yes for the sake. I don't need a cable kit, but boom, there it is. You get the cable kit. It, you need specific set of cables in order for your junk food arcade stick to work. Not well. Let me rephrase. Not your junk food arcade. When you're using, when you're doing any type of hitbox, there's a specific set of cables that you need in order for it to work. You can't just plug in any type of cables that you want all right there's a specific set that you need but you can put that in there all right um choose button set i don't need button sets but they're sanwa and they'll they'll do it all for you um i'll just put say let's just say red it looks like all of them are um just one solid color let's just say red just for the sake of showing this to you and here goes the thing that i was talking about with the pcb i don't need a pcb all right bet tintin i got you um, I don't need a PCB, but the PCB that I typically would use, again, I like the I like the Zero Pi. It's not expensive. It's it's pretty pretty much twenty five dollars, and um, that's the one I would use. So I'm gonna pick that one. But the but if you're into it, those ones, the little bit more expensive ones, they they the latency isn't the same. But again, I want I want I, this is the one that I would use. The next one here is you can have them build it for you or they can build it yourself personally i prefer building my own stuff um but you know i will i will i i build it myself um and then lastly do you want acrylic plexi on bottom and top again this is about having the option or the ability to create your stuff and that's what i would choose and boom add and i could add it to cart but i'm not going to add it to cart Total and extras, $142, yo, to, for a snack box arcade. 
Uh, no, not 100, sorry, 100, $142 in extras. That's what I meant to say. So 100, 142, let's round to the nearest 10. Let's just, let's just say it's $145 plus $115. That's that's quite a bit. That's over 200 odd some dollars right there. Like, what is it, 260? Something like that. That's a lot of money. So what I typically do is take old, old parts from other arcade sticks that I have and put it all together, okay? So let me take this off. No, I have my own cables. No, that's not required. No, I don't need a PCB. Uh, not required, I will build it myself. And then all I want is the top and bottom acrylic. Boom, so I can do my own designs here. I think that's more than fair. Boom, continue shopping. So the next thing that I'm gonna do here, is cause maybe, just maybe, I'm not into and I don't like the hitbox, the snapbox version of the hitbox, right? So I'm also gonna get a panel. This is, I don't think there's any wrong thing wrong with getting the panel. And this is the question that I get a lot when getting these panels and stuff like that. Um, should I get a stick or should I get buttons? And when I get a stick, what type of stick should I get? All right, got you. Not a problem, I'll answer that question. Hey, what's up, Rouch? How's it going? So I'm getting a stick version. Which layout should I have? Boom. Let me let me help you understand the layouts. There's two different layouts, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but I'm just going to breeze over it real fast. There is the Bulix in the Neur. The Neur. I have a hard time saying that. But all right, so this right here on this arcade stick, this is the Neur layout, right? You see that? This is New York. It's Archie, right? And for me, I think it's good for Tekken play. I, this is the way I like to play Tekken. I like to play Tekken on this version of, of the arcade stick. This layout is one of my more favorite layouts. It's a personal. There, there is, there is nothing besides personal preference when it comes to your layout. I don't think there is a clear advantage between any of them. All right. Here we are. Boom. This is the Vulix layout. And as you see, these first two buttons are shifted down and the other two, the other six buttons are straight across. Again, it's a personal preference, which one you choose. And also, some of the New York, um, it's the, 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 the space in between, this is the Vulix by the way. The, the space in between is a little bit further out. Just a little bit further out. Hold on, let me get to these comments. I can edit it. I can edit this. Hold on, hold on. Hey, thanks, Tintin. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You said you got to get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah, the yellow one's nice, too. You're, you're right. You're right, Candy. Um, from what people say, the B and B is easier for transport and for like locals. Uh, making a hitbox. Yes, the hitbox. Turn this around. I have no uh, Hey, what's good, Roush? How's it going, man? Man, I'm so garbo on fight sticks. Well, that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to convince you guys on um, getting a fight stick. I'm like, I want you guys to. Go on a journey with me playing with playing on fight sticks, man. I want you guys to go on that journey with me. So I'm just giving some examples of what you can use um, for your fight sticks. Uh, I'm tired and I have a long... Wow. Some six sticks there. Don't uh, quite know which I would prefer layout. Why. Yeah. And so that's what I'm trying to help you help you, help you out with. And, and the answer is, it's all personal preference. All right. Um, and, and depending on what games you play. I, if I'm not mistaken, more people play with Vulix for Street Fighter, and then other people, when it comes to Tekken, they play on the New, New York. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I don't mind being wrong. You guys correct correct me in the comments below if they, more people use Vulix for uh, New York. All right, so let's get back to let's get back to the snack box. Um, so I'm getting a stick. My, my personal 
favorite because I play I play a little bit more Tekken and I like the way Tekken's buttons are laid out. It just makes sense to me. It, it just it just makes sense. I, I like the newer uh, layout there. So I'm gonna that's the one that I'm gonna pick. And then I'm gonna choose for this one. Let's see here for a top. Let's just let's just keep it white. Um, choose to add. No, I don't want to add buttons. No, I don't need any buttons for that. And um, blad out. We got it. Continue shopping. So I guess with this, I'm not gonna be able to have a clear case on uh, clear case on top of it. And you know what? And that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, let's see. Do they have a buttons only layout? See the buttons only layout. I don't need any buttons here choose um, standard buttons on yeah so there are some pros and cons with that whichever one you want to choose it's 48 bucks no matter what nothing changes here unless you unless you get buttons all right so yeah so let's let me look in my cart see how much that is so i got two things in my cart so i have everything that i need it's 200 202 dollars just just for the casing so if you already if you already have buttons, if you already have the guts for the inside of your arcade stick, boom. This is probably what's going to look like and you can switch your panels and all that other good stuff. You can definitely switch your panels. Do do you need to? No, not necessarily, but you know what? I think it'd be cool. Or maybe I'll just maybe I'll just get the maybe I'll just get the buttons only. I don't know. I'll decide that once I actually push the button to order it. But here go here goes another thing that they have and I think that's really nice that they do this here. You have your 20 pin cable. I think that's really cool. Um, they sell their Brook um, um, fighters. This one, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, they this one does the headphone jack to it. And then of course you have your your L3 R3 cables right here to help with your stuff. But again, I already have those cables, so I'm not too worried about those things uh, right there. I think this is cool. It's a little this is a little um, thing to put around your neck and carry it like a briefcase. I think that's like really, really cool. Let me put that in my, put that in there, put that in there. Ooh, here goes more acrylic stuff for your snack box. Boom, let, let, I'm, I'm, putting all, I'm putting everything in there. My wife's gonna be so freaking mad at me. Why did you buy all this crap? Like, because I like crap. So, and here goes the snack, back, snack box micro. I thought that was a really cool thing. Um, they, man, these go these go out of stock so fast. But if you don't feel like putting none of that stuff together, and you kind of want to experiment with the with the um, hitbox style controllers, this is a good option for people also. Um, I I like, look it fits in your back pocket. That's really cool. All, all this stuff is really cool. I might eventually get this one day. I don't think I'm gonna get that now, but I'm eventually gonna get that. And then of course they have their um, snack box junk food swag, right? I, I like that type of stuff. That's kind of cool. All this stuff is really, really cool. Um, here goes their add-ons. All this is really cool. All this is super duper cool, and I love it. So, with that, hey, tell me what type of arcade stick are you using right now? Do you have a snap box? Let me know if you have a snap box and how you like it. How does it feel in the hands? Is it easy to clean? Do you have a, a, a acrylic overlay? Do you have a design to your snack box? Let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about the snack box. Do you plan on getting one um, after seeing this video? Please let me know and I will answer your comments at my earliest convenience. Now back over you, to you guys in Twitch land. Yo, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate that. Make sure you check me out on Twitch, M D S O U L M D Soul, right there on Twitch. And also make sure you follow me on my social media platform. I'll see you next time. Peace.